Hi friends, welcome to Let's Learn YouTube channel, Mainframe Interview Questions. Today we are going to discuss on a scenario based interview question, which I received recently. The question is to write a sequence number. How many times a product code is repeated in a file? In a given file, there is a product code. So if a product code is repeated, then we need to write a sequence number for every product code basically. So whenever there is a change on a product code, we need to restart, we need to start the sequence number again from the one. Okay, that is the basic question. They are telling like uh, there is a file which consists of a product code. So how many times the product code is repeated? For every record, we need to write a sequence number. Okay, for example, let's say uh, in an input file, we had A01, B03, A01, B03, A01, and C04. These are the product codes. So for every product code, we need to write a sequence number. So whenever there is a change, again, we need to start that uh, sequence number again from the one. So let's say here A01, for A01, we need to give as one. Okay, again, we had A02. For second product code, we need to write as two. The sequence number should be two. And for third product code, we need to write sequence number as three. So whenever there is a record get, uh, get incremented, we need to write increment the sequence number. That is the basic question. If here B01 is first time, okay, I am writing one. And B02, B03 is second time, so two. And if you see C0 is only one time, we need to write as one. So in the output, it should be basically A01, one first record, A02, second record, A03, third record. And B03, first record, B03, second record, C04, first record. So basically, whenever there is a product code, for that product code, how many times it is being repeated, that many times we need to write the sequence number. So we need to do group by by basically the product ID. So here the product ID is three times. So we have got records one, two, three. Now the product ID is being changed here. So in the output, we need to start again. Whenever there is a product ID change, we need to start again from one. So here again, it started from one. It has repeated two times. So one and two sequence number has been written in the output file. And coming to C04, it is only one time. So only one should be displayed in the output file. So Whenever there is an input file for, for a product ID, that product ID basically how many times it has been re repeated, that many sequence numbers, that many times the sequence number need to be written. So input will be in this format and we need to write the output in this format. This is the basic interview question which I received recently. So we are writing a sequence number for a given product code. Okay, that is the basic question. So let's start with how we achieved this. So if when we go for input file, if you go for input file, let me open the input file. Okay, I'm opening the input file. So if you see here, I got A01, A01, A01. Okay, here three times again, he had A01, A01. So again here A01. A01 has been repeated six times. So six, we need to write. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for A01. Okay. Coming to B03, how many times it is? 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is 4 times. So B01 should be basically 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4. C01 is only 1 time. In the output, we should go at C01 as 1. So this is the basic interview question we need to achieve with respect to JCL. So what I have written is in, uh, I have given an output file. In output file, I am creating that sequence number, okay? Coming to Sysin DD star, I achieved this with respect to short card, okay? This is the input file which which I have seen just now, okay? This is the input file which I have seen just now. And in Sysin DD star, what I have given is sort fields equal to 1, comma 3, comma CH, comma A. Basically, I am sorting the records of the product ID. If you look at input file, we had having one, two, three as product ID. So I'm sorting this product ID base, basically the sort fields equal one, two, three, four in ascending order. Okay. I'm sorting on ascending order. Once that is sorted in outtrack, what I'm doing, I'm using a overlay, overlay and a sequence number. Sequence number should start at sixth position and I'm giving six is to sequence number. So, so I'm writing a sequence number at sixth position. Okay. One comma Z D zoned decimal. So start from one increment by one. 
okay what i am telling is the sequence number should start from 1 and increment by 1 okay so uh, after this what i am doing i am giving continuation continuation should be always at 72 position and the next continuation line should be started at 16th position okay this is the 16th position i am giving restart equal to 1 comma 3 what does this restart do is whenever there is a product number change it will restart the sequence number again from the 1 so restart is the basic logic we should use in the sort card to write this sequence number here basically sequence number will write the sequence number it is in mm -hmm. zone, zone format okay and uh, start we are starting it from one and incrementing it by one so again i am restarting restarting one comma three so what is the product id is present product id is present at first position and it is of three bytes length so due to that restart equal to one comma three have given now if i submit this jcl basically we will get the sequence number in the output file okay sequence number in the output file i uh, have just deleting the sequence number in the output file so that we will create again new okay i am giving here new and i am submitting the jcl if you look at here the output file is not exist okay the output file is not present okay friends at any point in this video if you feel this video is helpful please like the video friends now i am submitting this jcl okay the the input file basically whatever the input file we have seen it is only consist of product id okay let let us see the product input file again and see whether only product id is present or not so i am opening the input file it is only having product id now we will create product id with sequence number okay i have submitted it let's go for the output file we got zero as written code okay now i am going to the output file okay now let's go for output file and see whether we got the the required output or not okay if you see here a01 we have sorted we have sorted the product id and we have written the sequence number it has repeated six times so one two three four five six we got a sequence number so whenever there is a change in product id again the sequence number has been restarted from one okay so it has been restarted from one one two three four four times b03 is repeated so we have given one two three four and c01 is one time as it we got product id only once we got c01 as one so this is the basic interview question and they were asking this question in a different format to friends let's see the format is basically instead of product id they are giving basically only the characters only let me show you the input file okay let me show you the input file so that it will be easy for you to understand So if you go for this input file, if you see here, they were giving only this this type of only one character. So they were asking like, whenever there is a change in the letter alphabet, you need to in, uh, restart that uh, product uh, sequence number again from one. So here A is repeated five times. So you need to write one, two, three, four, five. And B is basically three times, one, two, three. And C is one time. So this is also they were asking. So they were tricking basically. They were, they were asked like product ID or basically whatever they want. Basically the requirement is to write a sequence number for a given uh, key basically this is a key here okay we, we should consider this as key so whenever there is a change in key the, the sequence number should start again from the one okay that is the basic one if we take this input file and try to run this basically what we should do is the only changes is we know we need to look is basically okay what we should do is basically instead of three how many bytes we are restarting that we should give so sort fields equal to one comma one cha this will sort basically this input file okay even here it is sorted but if it is not sorted also we should give basically this as to sort it okay once we sorted i am just giving the sequence number at sixth position and this is zoned decimal so start from one and increment by one okay this is what i have given once that is done i restarted one comma one i have given why i have given one comma one because here we had he has only one character so one character due to that i have given one comma one in previous example product id is three digits so i have given one comma three now the key is basically one digit so i have given one comma one so let's submit this one i am creating a new output file i am submitting this okay let me submit this once we submit 
we got max is zero. Now let's go and see the output. We should get the same output, okay? We should get the same output in the sequence number, okay? So when I browse this, we are getting what? Whenever there is a key change, that uh, the sequence number has been repeated, started from, restarted from again from one. So that is how we achieved. If you see here, A is repeated five times. So the it is how sequence number one, two, three, four, five in the output file. Now B, we got where it the key got changed from A to B. So the sequence number has been restarted from one, two, three. So one, two, three, we got. And so C is only present one time. So we got as one. This is what basically the sequence number whenever there is a change in a key. So we need to write a sequence number whenever there is a change in a key that should be restarted again from one. That is the basic interview question. And we have seen how to achieve this. I'm done with the interview question, friends. We'll meet again with a new interview question. Please like the video if you feel this video is helpful. Also, please like, share and subscribe to the channel, friends. Thank you, friends. Have a nice day.